This is what's on the front of the panel uh, keyboard. So it's a 1722. On the back, the sticker is a little different. This is a Espron 1 series, and uh, in the black it says P I V E S. I'm sorry, P I V E 6. And there's the barcode. We're going to take a look inside, and as uh, you need to really pay attention when you repo remove this hard drive. So here we go. Now, what you're going to need is a, a small Phillips head and a full, small uh, straight slot. And you're probably wondering why a straight slot. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you why. First of all, there's a screw right here. Uh, at the base of it, and you take that screw out, you're going to take this with your fingers and pull this way. And uh, and then lift up under here, and that takes the cover off. Okay, right here is the hard drive. That's where your CPU fan is, that's your memory chips. There's your wireless. And I'm not really sure what that is right there. Alright, so uh, I don't see a BIOS battery here at all. So when the BIOS battery on this goes bad, I just don't know where it is in order to change that. All right. Now I did remove the, uh, the screws already. There's no screws to pull this out. All right, but there are screws underneath. So we're gonna we're gonna lift this guy up. Just use your fingers to lift them up, and you're gonna turn them over. There are two screws, one right here, and one right here that have to be removed. And you're gonna do be very careful because you don't want to disconnect this cable right here. You're gonna come up on top, and if you try pulling this back you're going to see that it just doesn't want to move accordingly. So you're going to use your flathead and without touching the connectors inside those uh, little metal pieces reach in here and just pry it and there's a little spot in between the two you can actually get down there and take it all the way off and back it all the way off. Alright so um, grab it and just pull it off. Um, and there is a piece right here that's trying to come off so I'm going to take my nail and get in there and you want to just pry it off without pushing it back on and you'll get it to come off and there it is so just be careful you don't pull this out like I uh, I almost did right there and if you do just push it back in if you pull it all the way out it's going to be harder to get in so make sure that that piece right in there and without my finger in the way it's right here alright is, is uh, I think I'm pretty good on the camera there uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you uh, zoom and up a little bit, okay. I think that's going to be about it. Okay, so right, right here where the blue strip is, you don't want that coming out. All right, now put the putting this hard drive back in. Uh, you want to just go the opposite. All right, and it's actually easier to put back in. All right, your uh, your foam is going to be on top. Um, the screws are on the bottom. So the, there's rubber here. It's going to give us some bounce, and if in case there's any shock, and you're going to slide these guys back on. Now to make sure you you have your two USB there, and they're going to match up. It's not it's SATA and this power. Okay, SATA is the small one, power is the big one. You're going to slide that back on. When you put the connector on, your two screws are going to go right here, one on there, one on there. Make sure you don't drop them, otherwise it'll be a little difficult to get out. And then set this guy back down inside. All right, if this comes off, don't worry about it. Just lift it up, uh, lift it up, and uh, set it back on the front. All right, it goes. Uh, it goes right in there. There's really no place for it to clip, but just uh, have it sit down inside there. It is a little difficult to do. All right, and then uh, then you'll slide the top back on. So once I get this down there where it's supposed to be, I'll go ahead and uh, bring you back for the top going down. Very careful not to lose the screws. All right, and definitely put them back in. All right, they're not going to go anywhere. All right, they're they're not going to go anywhere as far as. Uh, uh, doing anything. That's a little bumper right there for shock, shock absorbent thing. Alright, so uh, this guy is holding it that way so it's not going to draw around and the top is going to go back on. When you put this top back on, alright, there's little clips on the boards all the way around. So I'm going to back off a little bit again on this. Alright, so um, you're going to come over the top and there's a, here's a CD uh, eject is right here. So you're going to come right over that. You're going to work it down until you feel everything's uh, in the, into place and you're going to take it and slide it back over. Alright, so you want you want everything that it's going to be really hard to get this clip in and you might have to work it or just simply don't worry about it. Alright, I like to make sure everything's back in the where it's supposed to be and you put the screw back in. And that's as easy as it gets. Alright, very uh, thin uh, 
notebook and there is indeed a power supply in there. I hope you find this video helpful. Take care and uh, subscribe to see